investigation into two separate shootings on busy roadways in South Jersey in less than 24 hours. The first one played out on State Highway 55 in Vineland early Sunday morning. The second happened on I-295 in Belmar. And police think at least one may be a case of road rage. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman has more on the incidents. New Jersey State Police say the case of road rage that ended in gunfire began around 1 a.m. Sunday on Route 55 in Vineland. The victim told troopers a man in a white SUV fired two shots at his pickup truck, striking it twice as he drove southbound on 55, approaching exit 35. The white SUV with a male driver and female passenger continued south and fled. Drivers were alarmed to learn of a second unrelated incident about 12 hours later in Belmar. State troopers say a man driving north on 295 was shot in the hand between exits 28 and 29. The victim told police the suspect fired multiple shots from a dark colored sedan and fled northbound on 295. According to the data collection nonprofit Gun Violence Archive, road rage shootings have been on the rise in recent years. And if the trend continues through the rest of this year, there will be a 33% increase in people injured or killed in road rage shootings compared to 2020. A lot more honking, a lot more uh, middle fingers, I guess you could say. Drivers say they've noticed more aggressive drivers since the pandemic restrictions have lifted. Instructors at South Jersey Driving School in Morristown say they've always taught students how to handle road rage situations, but lately... I had a lesson just a, an hour ago, and uh, we saw at least three different occasions where uh, drivers were very aggressive. Students tend to experience the behavior firsthand. Their advice, do not engage. If they're acting that way with language or hand signals or things like that, just look straight ahead. No arrests have been made in these recent incidents. Anyone with any information on either shooting should contact New Jersey State Police. Reporting live in Belmar, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Yeah, a lot.